Well, what is going on, YouTube? Welcome back to A Therapeutic Edge. Today on the table in front of us, we have got the Monterey Bay Knives XLC. This <laughs> Ray Laconico design from the folks over at Monterey Bay Knives is, well, it's just an astonishing knife. Now, I saw the prototype for this at uh, Blade Show West and fell in love with it. And I missed the original drop, and then another drop came, and I, you know, look, life gets in the way, right? We buy our knives, so I didn't have any money. I thought I was going to miss it again. And then Scott over at Big Boar Knife and Gear, which is a channel you should absolutely check out if you have not yet. Um, he had this sent to me for my birthday. <laughs> uh, now, that was at the end of July, and uh, life you know, gets in the way. I, again, I did not even have an opportunity to make a video about it the way I wanted to. So this is that video. First and foremost, thank you, Scott. This is a phenomenal pocket knife, and it means the world to me because it was a gift. It doesn't hurt that it is singularly one of the nicest pocket knives I own, which is interesting because it is such a straightforward design. Uh, Ray's stuff is not overly complex. Uh, and it actually is of great benefit because of that, right? This is a super simple handle design, beautiful and simple blade shape, and yet they work together to make one of the most comfortable and best carry knives I own. Now, you may have seen the Easy C, which is the little one. This one, of course, has been modified by our friend uh, Microphone the Knife over on Instagram. You can check him out if you want to. And what a beautiful job he did, right? This is Women Carry Knives Knife. And man, he set this thing up so beautifully. But I said immediately when I saw this knife originally that I wished very much that it was bigger. And lo and behold, <laughs> they released the XLC. Now, they are out of stock now. Uh, this is a first gen. This is integral of design, right? It is one piece of... Uh, titanium down through here. Unfortunately, mine's got some snail trails back here because when you carry a knife, it's bound to happen. But it is one integral piece of titanium done exceptionally well. It is a steel lock bar insert. Lock up on this one is just about 30%. And of course, the blade centering is just dead on. It is phenomenal. It has a marvelous carry profile, a little bit of a pocket pecker, but look at that, right? Beautiful and thin, nice long blade, snappy action. And because this handle is so basic in its design, it is comfortable no matter who you are, right? Women carry knives can carry this. It's very comfortable for her. It's a little big for her, but exceptionally comfortable. I mentioned that I love the Laconico design aesthetic. You know, uh, there's the Easy C, there's the XLC, and then of course, also recently I got this from Artisan. This is the uh, the Centauri. All of these, you can see that little Ray Laconico touch, even though there is a variety in them. These two are very similar, but um, man, Ray has got <laughs> he's got a way about him. He really does. Um. This is M390. It is running on bearings. It is, as I said, all titanium. It has a marvelous pocket clip. It is not the deepest carry in the world, but with this basic shape sticking up, it's not threatening either. The pocket clip has plenty of ramp, good spring, and lots of room for a nice heavy pair of jeans, if that was your interest. I have really persistently enjoyed carrying this. And I'm just going to do that again because I love that sound. It is the snappiest big knife I own. <laughs> it is so good. Let's go ahead and do some size comparisons just for fun. Uh, they have a similar blade profile, as you can see. Here it is against the bug out. Uh, it is, of course, much larger than the bug out. Here it is against the Rat Model 1. And it is just a little tiny bit shorter than the Rat 1. Uh, it is a really nice full size knife. You get, for your $300, and that's about how much they cost, you get one, two, three, 
just at three and a half inches of cutting on just over three and a half inches of M390. The grip area from just behind the flipper is one, two, three, four full inches of grip, which is why I've got about a quarter eighth of an inch, quarter inch sticking out the back. I'm not kidding when I say this thing is comfortable. For daily use, this basic handle design allows this knife to be used. You can, you know, if you're doing push cuts, it's super comfortable. Of course, if you're, you know, need to uh, use the hammer grip for any reason, it's very comfortable with that. You can come choke up on it with this nice sort of fuller almost that's milled into the uh, scales. Gives your thumb a nice place to land if you're doing draw cuts this way. And of course, you can choke way up on the blade for fine cuts, there's nothing to interfere. You can grip this knife in a ton of different ways. The blade stock is not super thick, although you do get the lovely rail Iconico across the top of the blade there. I'm not sure it's gonna come up on camera. But because of this grind, almost a completely high flat grind with just a little bit of flat hair at the top, it comes down to a very nice and very slicey edge. The tip is stabby. Uh, but there's enough meat following all the way down that it doesn't feel fragile in any way. I have just persistently enjoyed having this knife, and I will continue to. Um, now, I've been talking to the folks over at Monterey Bay Knives, and they may or may not be done with uh, integral knives. Uh, I know that they do enjoy producing knives with a nice backspacer, so it is likely if ever there was a second generation uh, of the XLC, it would probably be a two-part handle as opposed to uh, just this one piece. Man, look at that. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to show up, but I have definitely got some uh, scratches on this thing. That's what happens when it's in your pocket all the time. <laughs> the overall knife is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and a half inches long. And it's just beautiful. You know, you guys know I have got a fairly thick collection of knives. Some of them are really complicated, and yet this thing is so elegant in its simplicity that I just, I love it. Anyway, uh, just a short little look here. Uh, unfortunately, as I said, these are sold out at the moment, but you never know. If you see one on the secondary market and this sort of knife appeals to you, grab it. It is absolutely worth having one. Uh, I absolutely agree with that statement and will always say it. Um, the guys over at Monterey Bay Knives and Ray Laconico designed just a wonderful knife here. We're going to go ahead and wrap it up. This has been the uh, Laconico designed Monterey Bay Knives XLC. I have been a therapeutic edge. Once again, please, so please go and subscribe to Big Boar Knife and Gear if you have not yet. I'll put a link to his channel in the description. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.